maybe an impala. Stunning. See, so yesterday she had her tail and she was up. Oh, look at that tail moving like that. I wonder what she's seen. Normally when they start moving their tail like that, is that they're thinking about something and then there was something that caught her attention. So she actually seems to be smelling something down there. Amazing how she's just gone, disappeared into the sea of yellow. <laughs> we can just keep up with her. <laughs> looking at that white beacon so you understand now why sometimes or why leopard mothers have got that white on the fluff of the tail imagine all the tiny cubs that are not longer than the grass and that they need to try and follow a mother pretty much something impossible to them unless they've got something to look at which is exactly what we were doing we're just you know pretending that we are perhaps leopard cubs to be able to find her please don't let there be a log here And the guys checked around this morning and there were tracks for male leopards all throughout so hmm, I wonder if maybe she just heard them coming and she decided to to disappear let's see where you are okay she is still there she hasn't moved all that much but we're just gonna make our way slightly closer I don't want to be moving around too quickly to try and find her because then we might just spook her. Tris Tate, you say that it's almost like she's got a slag for a tail. Um, almost. There she is moving into the bushes at the back. A flag. Sorry, I thought that's, that's what I said. Maybe I'm too excited looking at Shangila that starts with an S and I'm making up words as we go along. But yes, that is exactly what it is, a flag. Um, and that's, you know, a beacon that she takes and then she carries through the bush with her, but just the tip of her tail. And thankfully, we've got that, because you can you imagine if she hadn't put that up, we, I don't think we would have been able to see her amongst all these grass. Hmm, lots of other marulas around here. I wonder if maybe she's gonna try to climb a different one. Let's see. I can't see her for now. I think she's gone further ahead of us. see her from here all right we will definitely get she's going onto a termite mound let's see if perhaps she goes up yeah go up the termite mound Shangile. yay look at her on the termite mound go up come on girl all the way up can't see her from here Maybe not all the way up, but I'm sure she is on the other side of the termite mound. Mm. Wonder if she's gonna come up. <gasps> all right, uh, we have found her yet again, straight ahead of us, looking as regal as a leopard can be. Let me move a little bit more to the side sorry guys this is just a very stunning view and I think we will all want to see it look at that ah oh, beautiful so very very regal of her I wonder if she could hear something earlier on and that's what she was going up and looking having a look at you see, the grass is very long, is what we were seeing when she was walking around and she couldn't really see too much. And a lot of the times, cats, and it's sometimes a bit more apparent when cheetahs doing in very open plain areas, will go to vantage points, areas where they can see a bit higher. Or, and then because of that, when because they are higher up, they can see a bit further away. Isn't this stunning? What a beautiful view.
And that is wonderful. And it's that the shape of the termite mount almost seems to to be good for her. <gasps> hello? Are you saying hello? Oh, that's just stunning. Look at her. So regal already. So she is alert. She's looking at something, maybe just scanning all of the area around. Her ears are constantly moving in the wind, so she's picking up all the noises that everything around us is making. The wind is picking up a little bit more as well, so I wonder if maybe she's gonna come down, but wow, what a view. I'll you stick around with little Shangile and see what she's up to. Let's go to Taylor, who's also looking quite regal.